A giant volcano beneath Yellowstone National Park could erupt sooner than previously thought, scientists studying the area say. Currently, in the United States, one of the largest volcanoes in the world is preparing to explode. This is known as the Yellowstone Volcano, and this is not just any ordinary volcano. This is a super volcano. If Yellowstone decided to erupt, the impact would be terrible. But how bad would it be? Located in Wyoming, United States, Yellowstone has erupted three times in the last two million years. What makes Yellowstone a supervolcano? In addition to being larger in size, supervolcanoes also produce much larger explosions. Often, when we think about volcanic eruptions, even though they will happen in Yellowstone, and that is something you need to worry about, It's not the only one analysis of minerals in fossil ash shows that previous eruptions saw temperature changes occur much more rapidly than previously thought. A powerful eruption occurred about 630,000 years ago, according to National Geographic, rocking the region and creating the Yellowstone caldera, a bowl about 40 miles wide that covers most of the park. The volcano is so large that a large eruption could choke the Earth's atmosphere with ash. Researchers at Arizona State University analyzed evidence from the eruption and believe that the supervolcano awoke after two streams of fresh magma flowed into a reservoir beneath the caldera. However, even though volcanoes can cause bad effects if they erupt, there is nothing to worry about. The accelerated timeline shows that temperatures around the volcano increased over decades, not over the centuries that scientists believed the process would take. It's surprising how little time it takes to take a volcanic system from a calm state to being on the verge of eruption, Hannah Shamlu, one of the study's authors, told the New York Times. So, what happens if the volcano erupts tomorrow? Depending on the size of the eruption, the volcano could cover large parts of the United States with dangerous ash, and Earth's atmosphere would likely be filled with the same ash. The ash in the atmosphere would cool the planet, destroying life on Earth if it is not removed soon. Experts say so, even the east coast of the United States would be covered in 1 centimeter, 0.4 inch, of ash which would still be very harmful to our human lungs. Even parts of Europe will see ash, maybe a little dust. And that's not the only impact they're experiencing. Apart from deadly ash everywhere, the whole world will experience a decrease in temperature. The ash left in the air will block the sun, resulting in significant weather changes. Global temperatures would fall by 10 degrees, an effect that could last up to a decade. Ash will also affect plants, water supplies, and almost everything else in the western part of the world. So even though you might survive the initial explosion, in the end you will suffer from the ash. Whether that meant a relatively quick death, or living long enough to experience a colder, harsher world. Luckily, you can take a deep breath of ashless oxygen, knowing that something like this will probably never happen, at least not in our lifetimes.